Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Solinix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great. Welcome to this new video. And of course, your daily update on Solana. All right. I wanted to give you my thoughts. Wanted to uh, just do a full update on it. Um, it's um, in all honesty, Solana has been a little bit difficult to analyze right now just for well, for the main reason that Solana, there's a clear direction, right? If you if you zoom out, there's definitely a clear direction and that clear direction is up. But if you really zoom in, like if you go to the one hour time frame and if you if you look at the four hour time frame right here, there's just a lot of mixed signals, right? We are we are in general, we are we are we're, we're bullish, right? You cannot really argue about about that. But then we are not really respecting the EMAs as support right here. So that's a bearish indication. We got a bit of a bearish breakout yesterday, which is not weird because the markets were not that strong, um, but it is confirmation, right? So we got bearish confirmation by breaking down below 188. We broke down below 185, which is also a, a key level. Um, and, and then and then right now we're trying to, to, to break above that uh, again. So, so it's very mixed signals. And I would say, um, I would say that Solana on its own doesn't really have a short term direction. All right. And I try I will try to to grab some more numbers for that. But my Internet is not really working with me, I think, um, which would be a shame because that would add some more value. But uh, my Internet has been acting up for the last uh, 24 hours or so. Um, so that's not amazing. But the thing is, is that right now Solana is. Yes, thank you very much. Can we please load this? Um, I don't think so. That's uh, pretty annoying, to be honest. Uh, but all right, Solana in general has been very correlated with Bitcoin. And what we see from Bitcoin is that it's gaining momentum while Solana. And that's what I wanted to check whether that was still true. Uh, Solana hasn't really gained that momentum yet. All right. Well, all the other times that Solana, for example, broke above 150, it was gaining momentum. And that's necessary if we actually want to see a bullish Solana and if we want to see some big moves. So given the fact that Bitcoin is bullish and I am bullish on Bitcoin, like I, I expect Bitcoin to continue this bullish momentum. Uh, and then assuming that Bitcoin is still that Solana is still correlated with Bitcoin, I think the most likely direction is up. Um, the thing is, is that what I would like to see is, uh, is, so, is, is some more momentum for Solana. If the open interest for Solana actually can start uh, can actually start going up and we can see some sort of an uptrend, um, which I will still try my best to, to find it out if we can actually see that. Um, but if that starts to form some sort of an uptrend in the open interest, so you can check that out on CoinGlass for yourself, um, since I can't, uh, then I think it's possible we get some sort of a bullish breakout right here above 188, 190, that level, hopefully even 195, which you can see on the on the four hour is a very strong resistance level. But if that happens, we get that bullish breakout and then we can actually start rallying back up to 210. And then we can start talking about the previous all time highs at around 240, et cetera, et cetera. And give, look, even though Solana on its own right now is, is not giving us much, it's not giving us much bullish confirmation. It's also not giving that much bearish confirmation either. Um, but, but even though that's the case, due to the market circumstances and due to the fundamentals of Solana, which we looked at yesterday still, and those were still great, um, a bullish breakout is most likely, all right? I'm not too worried about a, a big bearish breakout. Maybe if Bitcoin... Like, like we could drop down to this level around 175 if Bitcoin all of a sudden uh, pulls back here, but that doesn't seem most likely. All right. So that's what you need to know for now. If you do have any questions, of course, let me know down in the comments. Uh, uh, sorry that I could not show you the full full image. It, um, trust me, I really don't like it, but uh, hopefully it still helps. For now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.